What's up, guys? So today is the triple seven. Nothing too crazy. Um, they about to shoot some shit. Uh, looks like a uh, end of mission. So today we're doing table five, table six shit. Nothing too crazy. Excuse my French, but nothing too crazy. Um, basically, table five, table six is the chief and they crew getting used to being on the cannon and shooting projectiles. So right now, they're getting ready to zero the weapon. Well, not zero, but recalibrated. So make sure when a mission does come down, that they're ready to shoot and go. Obviously, I'm like this because you gotta have the range is hot right now. So y'all have the Ipro and Opro, but I don't need Opro right now. So all I'm doing is showing y'all what it looks like with a live fire training exercise would be. And right now, as you can see, you got all of the high ups over there from E6, E7s, first sergeant, you know, a couple of OCs and FDC, fight the Russian control center. So once they get done shooting their job and they do table six qualifications, that crew's are automatically certified to do their job and do their part. With that being said, guys, we'll continue on the video. A good friend of mine I'm gonna bring up is Sneller. Sneller is the E4 and the Washington Artillery. So Sneller, in your opinion, as a gunner, how do you feel about it? I feel pretty good, man. I really just spin a wheel, and wherever I spin that wheel is where the gun shoots. I obviously shot the howitzer. So was it worth being a 13 Bravo? Was the hype worth it, in your oh, opinion? Uh, yeah. The hype? Uh, no, not at all, man. I think I should have chosen a different MOF, but uh, that's besides the point. We uh we still come out here and we have a splendid time. What made you want to actually be a 13 Bravo? <laughs> be real, be real. Well, at the time they were offering a twenty thousand dollar bonus, and uh, therefore it seemed <laughs> seemed like the best option available. Hey, I can understand. Hey, you know you brought us down there. I understand that. I appreciate that. That twenty grand was nice though. <laughs> I haven't gotten half of it, but uh, hopefully someday. <laughs> I respect. I respect. And last question is. Do you see yourself going far in artillery or the military in general? Oh, no, I see myself getting out in uh, two years. Why is that? Is it... You summarize, don't, don't say it too crazy, you can summarize it. Let's just say the National Guard is uh, an interesting place with interesting people, and uh, my time here is almost up. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> I like it. All right, so this is Specialist Davis, who is a gunner and an AG at the one for one. My question to you, Special Davis, is do you feel like since you've been pumping the gun, it was worth the hype of gun? <laughs> yeah. Come on, bro. I'm trying my hardest. All right. Dude, say that one more time. Do you feel like after you shot the house a couple of times, do you feel like it was worth the hype that you joined this? And you're honest, okay, you be real. If you enjoy cannons, sleeping outside on the ground, yeah, it's, it's worth it. But if you want a career in life, because this is the National Guard. Let me explain so this is the National Guard. If you want a career on the civilian side, this is not the way to go. Active duty, all for it. I respect that. So my second question is, the tree has changed. The family tree is something that every year we go through and rotate for morale. Since the family tree has changed, do you feel like your crew has got better or worse? 100% worse. 110%. I'm missing a guy, his leg's broken, you know what I mean? Another guy, car accident, I have four people. To be honest, I got three, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that sums it up, you know what I mean? Jack shit. It's all right, it's all right. So my last question is, do you see yourself going far as a 13 problem? Not at all. I got, military in general. I got six months left, I'm changing my list, you know, just to better my life. You know what I mean? Probably get that. But just to better my life in, 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 in all aspects, this can't do anything for me on, on the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're getting out of here. You know what I mean? Look at, look at, my, look at my sleeping area. Look at this. Does this. Is this somewhere that you want to be in life? On the ground? The ground is hard, man. Yeah, we don't want to do this. It's all right. So if you want a career, this is not the job to go. If you're doing 20 in the military, this is the way to go, brother. And do you, last question, do you feel like this was at least a stepping ground into your military career? Yeah, this is definitely a stepping stone. I love it. This is not, it's not that it's bad. This is a very fun job to do, but a very entertaining job to do. You know, something to kickstart your military career to see what bad leadership looks like, good leadership looks like, in the middle. 
leadership looks like. You know what I'm saying? So this is definitely like uh, a stepping ground. I cannot lie on that one. But and overall, yeah, this is the way to go, man. I respect that. Five, two, So since you started shooting, you got your experience, you shot the first round with us, you slept in the cold rain. How you feel about this shit? You feel the rain? That's crazy. How you feel about this shit? Uh, you can't fuck with <laughs> Why not? Like since since you finally shot the rain, uh, that is crazy. Since you shot the first round, was being a 13 probably really worth it, in your opinion? Like, it's like too early. I guess. It's not too early. You see yourself on the fall in this, or like a step in front of you? Respect that. Last question. Do you feel like it can change because you get to stay long in the military? Like, as long as you long stay, do you feel like it might change your perspective on it? After the ball or before the ball? I feel that. I feel that. Good. So, guys, there's a lot of work to do, obviously, in this video. This video was literally made to show y'all a snippet of what it's like in 13 Bravo artillery of the Washington Field Artillery Unit, the 141. I know it's not everything, and for OPSEC reasons, I couldn't post everything. I had to get that cleared as it already is. So I gave y'all a just upon what you expect in my life as a Field Artillery Cannon crew member, AKA 13 Bravo. Now I know, it wasn't all the best action because I still got to perform my duties as a gunner on the job doing what we call fire missions, shooting live projectiles. But this video was literally made to give you episode one of what's to come. There's many more episodes coming down. I'll be doing many more interviews with higher ranking people. I was just giving you all a sample, a sneak peek of what's to come. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got lots of questions because I have number time on my hand to answer those questions, whether related to the military or anything involving MOSs, you let me know and I'll give you my honest answer. This video was not meant to try to violate or make anything feel different. It was literally meant to keep it real with y'all. With that being said, guys, wait, but hold, <laughs> we're not done here yet. Let me clean this up. My video completely has been clean house. I have cleaned all of my old videos away. If you look on the channel, a lot of old things I made pre-COVID are gone. Some things are still there, which were pivotal things. Other things like gaming, go. I'm just not in that field no more. And that's that, to be honest. But off of that, if you've been a part of the channel, I wholeheartedly appreciate you. You are what makes my life go around. And if you're new to the channel, I will be doing more military things, more business some things about weapons and more mechanical stuff, giving you the FYI before you buy. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a blessed day and I hope you have prayed up and I hope you keep doing good. And last but not